And so the long winter continued. Inside, everything was warm and cozy. But outside, it was... Ooh, ooh, ooh. A question? Did you really like the story your whole self, Booberry? <laughs> yes, I really wrote it all by myself. I like it. <laughs> Why, thank you. You're welcome, Booberry. Uh, where was I? Oh, yes. Inside, everything was warm and cozy. But outside, it wasn't cozy at all. All the roads around Berry Bitty City were covered in ice. And a cold wind was blowing. Oh, dear. Oh, my goodness. This is really too much. Bumblebee, there you are. We thought we'd lost you. I, uh, <laughs> I thought I'd lost me too. <laughs> and I almost lost the mail in that wind. Oh, that's it. I'm restricting all deliveries until this windstorm dies down. Hi, honey, chocolate for all our brave postal bees. Oh, mm, chocolate. <laughs> We'll just stay cozy in here. I've heard it's going to get worse. A person would have to be really misguided to go out in weather like that. <gasps> Booberry! Anything in the mail for me? Has it arrived? Is it here? Where is it? Sorry, Blueberry. All postal service is suspended due to the windstorm. The roads are iced over due to the frost, so no mail truck deliveries either. Oh. Here. What were you expecting, Blueberry? Oh, the next segment of the latest Patty Persimmon mystery. The case of the missing mangoes? <laughs> that was last month. This one is called Tennis Caper, anyone? Someone is cutting holes in the Toadstool Tennis Club's rackets and sabotaging the tennis tournament. I simply have to find out who's doing it and why they're doing it. It's outrageous! <laughs> Well, that's an intriguing riddle, but I'm afraid you'll have to wait to find out who done it. Your package must be stuck at the branch in Barry Bitty Dale. Oh, I can't stand it. Refill? <sighs> no, thank you, Orange. I better get home before this wind gets worse. Well, be careful out there. I will. Blueberry is usually a very patient, even-tempered person. But if there is anything she is not patient about, it's getting to the bottom of a mystery. <laughs> Bosley Bookworm, are you all right? Are you... Where are you? Caught in some sort of net. Net? Uh, um, Blueberry? <gasps> The door, the wind blew, and, uh, oh, I'm sorry, Blueberry. I think I've wrecked your racket. Oh, don't worry. This is a really old tennis racket. I was going to throw it away, but I kept thinking I might find something useful to do with it. Oh, if only it could somehow get me to Berry Bitty Dale. My patty persimmon is stuck there at the main post office. The butterfly bus is grounded, and, and... Oh, that racket won't help you. What you need are some ice skates. I heard the roads were frozen over. I don't have any ice skates, but maybe I could make some. Oh, but even if those work, Berry Bitty Dale is a long way to ice skate. Hmm. What is it, Custard? <gasps> Yahoo! That looked like... a... Uh, no. It couldn't have been. Could it? Nah. <laughs> <gasps> Those are amazing! Did 
did you get it? I am happy to report success! A Patty Persimmon Mystery. Tennis Caper, anyone? Part three! <sighs> oh, who could that be? Hi, Blueberry! Where are they? Let me see them! Where'd you get them? <laughs> whoa, whoa! See what? Get what? Your flying ice boots! Flying ice boots? I saw you fly down the road a couple of hours ago. It was great! <laughs> Where'd you get those things? These? I made them out of an old tennis racket. I call them Icy Skites. Icy, icy Skites? skites? <laughs> yeah, like skating on ice skates and flying a kite. Icy Skites. Oh, yeah! I like I get it! <laughs> so inventive! Can you make me a pair with a butterfly, too? Oh, <laughs> me too! Oh, I like Sonny! Oh, yeah. Yeah. Great! Well, uh, sure, I guess. Um, I'll need some old tennis rackets and some butterflies and... Hmm... Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's 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 We're on it! We're on it. <laughs> <laughs> What you might be good at until you try. Well, now that everyone in Berry Bitty City has a set of icy skites, I can get back to my mystery novel. Now, where was I? Oh, yes, about to see who's sabotaging the tennis tournament. I wonder if it's the ball boy. Oh, oh I lost my place. Hello, Blueberry's Bookshop, Blueberry Muffin speaking. Miss Muffin? This is Ladybug Lois of Berry Bitty Dale Berry Sporty Sports Store. My, my, has it ever been a mystery tracking you down. At least one mystery was solved. I finally mentioned to our postmaster that I saw you fly by on those incredibly wonderful magical skate boots of yours. My skates? Er, uh, icy skates? <sighs> well, how can I help you, Lois? Well, I have an idea that you just might find. Very interesting. I'm interested already. Is it a book order? An entirely different type of order altogether. The sporting goods store and Berry Bitty Dale wants to manufacture and sell my icy skites. Well, that's wonderful, isn't it? But that's not all. They want me to design a matching outfit to go with the Icy Skites. Well, that's wonderful too, isn't it? But that's not all. They want me to make a commercial for their store website with a jingle and a dance. Is all that wonderful? It, uh, I don't know. I can write a commercial, but Design clothes? Make a video? Write music? I don't know if I'm good at those things. Well, you won't know if you're good at those things unless you try. And you could always ask for help. That's true. I just... I think it would be so much fun. Then what's to stop you? Icy Skite on. And so, Blueberry decided that she'd give it a try. Some icy skates. Can you make me some? Yeah, I want them. I want them. Blueberry, did 
did you make the commercial, Boo Belly? <laughs> if you will all please settle down, we'll find out. So, Blueberry asked her friends for help. She asked Raspberry for advice on fashion design because Raspberry was an expert. I like the colors, but I was thinking something more like this. Hmm. Well, I think for your Icy Sky outfit, this might be better. Well, thank you, Raspberry. I'll think it over. was a very lovely dance you made up. So, you're all set then? Well, I'm gonna think about it. I might want to do something a little, um, sportier? Huh. Well, I think what they're probably looking for is a more classic figure skating ballet dance. Mm, you may be right. I'll think it over. But all your tips about moving to the music and planning the moves ahead of time really helped. What about this? Very glamorous, Lemon. Or did you like my spiky design better? I like them both. I know, they're both my favorite, too. Oh, I forgot about Plum's choreography. She said you're going with a classic ballet theme? I am? So maybe we should do a ballet bun. Do you mind if I think this all over? I love all your ideas, but I may want to go in a different direction. I bet you'll go with the ballet bun! Or maybe the spikes? I'll let you know. But thank you so much for all your help, Lemon. I never would have known how to get my hair into any style without your guidance. Ah! Anything there you like? Oh, girls, that was a beautiful melody. Raspberry told us you're going with a classic ballet theme. Well, no. I actually hadn't decided yet what I'm going with for my commercial. Oh, so are you still working it out? Well... Oh, I forgot my lyric pages. Be right back. Are you worried about something, Blueberry? Oh, Strawberry. Everyone helped show me how to do some of the things they're really good at. And they all have lots of ideas for me. But I'm kind of having fun thinking up some ideas on my own. Then you should. <laughs> Everyone will understand. Are you sure? You don't think they'll mind if I go my own direction? Of course they won't mind. And so I designed this very big, fabulously flowing gown for her commercial, and she isn't going to use it. Well, I choreographed a very graceful ice and butterfly dance that she isn't using either. But you are the dance expert, Plum, and you, Raspberry, are the fashion expert. It just doesn't make sense that she wouldn't be using your ideas. She should stick to what she does best, writing. What if her commercial is an embarrassment? We wouldn't want that to happen to her. What if Berry Bitty Dale Sporty Sports Store doesn't like the commercial, and then they wouldn't want her icy skates, and then... <coughs> oh, uh, hi, Strawberry. Hi, Strawberry. Hello. Have you been helping Blueberry with her commercial? Well, she did ask for help, or advice, or, you know, but it doesn't seem like she needs our help after all. It seems like she's gonna do the whole thing by herself, with her own ideas. But uh, that's okay, right? I mean, just because you're all good at something doesn't mean Blueberry can't be good at it, too. Well, it is her commercial. <laughs> it's nice that she asked for help, and nice that we helped her, but that doesn't mean she has to do what we all think. No. That's true. Well, I hope it turns out okay. However it turns out, I think we should give her our support. Okay, and action! Woo! Wait, this is some great action footage. This is good, keep going! Here's my jingle. I know it's not exactly what you girls had in mind, but I think it goes better with the action sports feel of the commercial. Um, what tune do we play this to? Well, I don't know how to write notes like Cherry. I can only hum what I had in mind. That's okay. 
Why don't you hum the melody and I'll write down the notes? <laughs> That'll work. Good idea, Cherry. before, you know, it gets out there. We'll help her redo it. Evening, girls. Oh, I can't wait to see the commercial. I'm in it. Can you believe it, girls? J.D. Bug from the post office is gonna be a star. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. Thank you for coming to see a pre-screening of my Icy Skites commercial. I hope you like it. I got a lot of help from my friends on this, so I want to tell you all how grateful I am. My commercial wouldn't have been possible without my friend's expert know-how. But she didn't use her ideas. Shh. Okay. Well, here goes. Barrack and Bruce, could you please start the film? Wanna get from here to there? The road is Ball boy all along, that I thought 
I could write a better mystery than this. So, I was wondering if you could do me a favor and read it and help me make improvements? You want us to help you with writing? But, but, <laughs> but you're the best, Blueberry. I mean, you're the expert. But you're all good writers, too. And readers. So your opinions would be very valuable to me. Oh, of course we'll tell you what we think. Oh, look! You dedicated your book to us, Blueberry. Thank you, Blueberry! <laughs> did you really write a mystery, Blueberry? I did. But it's a little scary, so you'll have to read it when you're older. Do you think I could write a mystery, Blueberry? The only way to find out is to try. Well, what do you think? I think it's amazing! A skirt that's a video screen? Congratulations, Raspberry. What a brilliant invention. Thanks, Strawberry. Apple, can we jump online? Berry in the Know is almost over. It's the Fashion Talk webcast we're doing this fashion show for. Oh! Mavis Maraschino here, thanking you for keeping your peepers glued to this episode of Berry in the Know, the Berry Bitty Fashion World's go-to show to know what's nouveau, you know? <laughs> Don't forget our technology and fashion contest taking place tomorrow. <gasps> We have some spectacularly intriguing entries coming in from all over the Berry Bitty world. But the entry that's really frilling my frock is from Berry Bitty City and those fabulous fashionistas Lemon Meringue and Ra Ra Raspberry Tort. Don't forget to be ready to text in your votes for your favorite techno fashion. Until then, Mavis Maraschino reminding you to ask yourselves, are you Barry in the know? When the Berry Bitty world sees Strawberry walk down the runway wearing my screen skirt and Lemon's mood nails, we'll absolutely, positively get the most votes! Lemon, your mood nails turn blue. Are you sad? I was just thinking... Raspberry's screen skirt is so outrageously wonderful! I don't know if my mood nails make much of a statement. Well, I think they're great. Thank you, but... Well, you'll barely see them in the webcast. They're not as prominent as, like, a hairstyle or... <gasps> ah! That's it! Forget mood nails. I'll do moody hair. We'll call them moodies! Whoa! Wow! It's kind of last minute. Can you pull that off in time? The contest is tomorrow. I can try. And I always have the mood nails as backup. Well, you better get to it. It's gonna be a long night. <laughs> Here goes nothing. Juice cables. <gasps> it's not alive, is it? No, it's the sparkleberry juice that makes it move that way. And the energy of the emotion of whoever wears it. Behold! Moody hair! Hey, Orange, I haven't been to many fashion shows, but aren't you supposed to have a model? What's going on in the dressing room? Sorry, it's taking longer than we thought to reroute all the screen skirt cables. And we haven't even added the moody hair yet! Maybe, maybe I shouldn't try to change tops. Just model one outfit. Can't have a fashion show with only one outfit. We have to find a figure, a, a way. Uh, we gotta model at least four different tops with the screen skirt. But how? Even with both of us helping, she can't change that fast. You're always wanting us to Here be Here comes exactly peace and harmony. Hi, girls. We would love to watch your fashion show. Is that okay? What? We? You dragged me here. <laughs> a little early for Halloween, isn't it? You're very welcome to watch. Excuse us for a second. Psst, I've got an idea. Oh! Why not use the twins as models? That way people will think it's just one model, and you can have one on camera while the other is changing. 
Might work. But we wanted to feature you in your kitchen, Strawberry. Strawberry would still be in the video clips on the skirt. Good point. Let me ask him. I thought the theme was technology in fashion, not monotony in fashion. I'm sure they're just ironing out some glitches. Ironing? Fashion? Clothes? <laughs> Funny, huh? No. Um, excuse me. Sour? Sweet? We have a problem we think that you could help us with. We're wondering if you could take over from me in the fashion show and be our models? <gasps> oh, we're so flattered. Yes. W hold up. Why would anyone want to look at me? Sour, you're gorgeous. Oh, of course you would say that. You look just like me. Well, you also have personal flair. I don't. You do. You have more. That's silly. Everyone will be looking at you instead of me. Won't. Well, girls. Only one of you will be on stage at a time. We have so much to do by tomorrow. Please, there's no time for arguments. There's always time for arguments. Like jelly beans, you can't have just one. Come on, Sour, it'll be fun. Oh, okay. Thank you so much for thinking of us, Strawberry. Are you sure this moody hair thing is gonna work? Wow, it really does work. I'm impressed, Lemon. <sighs> is um, something wrong, Sour? <sighs> Sweet's hair looks better than mine. Oh, I think I get it. Sour's hair is green with envy. <laughs> Trust me, Sour, if both your hairstyles are fabulous, it'll be just as much my reputation as yours. Now remember, girls, the fashion webcast is tonight, so you'll have to keep your moodies on for the rest of the day. Moodies? Oh, that's cute, Lemon. I'll see you at rehearsal in half an hour. We'll be there. What's with you and this we thing? We're twins. Huh, not if I can help it. Hi, Orange. You look nice today. Sweet! <gasps> Sour! So do you! Wow! Are those Lemon's moody hair pieces? She calls them moodies. Aren't they the best? She's so talented. Oh, is that what talent is? Who knew? We need to pick up a few things for the cafe. Happy to help. Uh, then help me understand why there's no whole wheat flour in this whole joint. Oh, uh, uh I just ran out this morning. Great. Well, I guess we can just forget about baking at the cafe this week. No pancakes, no pies, no muffins, no bread. Sour? Well, let's see. What if we try almond flour or coconut flour? Might be fun to improvise. No waffles, no puff pastries, no cake, and you can kiss cookies goodbye. Do you think this is funny? Ooh, what's this? My sweet sister, angry? Uh, I'm not angry. Why would you say that? Because your hair is steaming. <gasps> this is so great. Oh, uh, golly, that's probably just static or I don't know. <laughs> Aw, your hair is blushing. That's awesome. Your hair is doing a joy dance. You must be very happy. Happy? I am not. Uh, I was just seeing what the hair is doing, and Lemon told me these do's don't lie. I, I've never told a lie in my life. That's just so wrong. As if. Gee, don't get your hair to tangle. <gasps> <gasps> I'm so glad those things are locked in there. Did I or didn't I? Did you or didn't you what? Close the back window this morning? <gasps> I didn't. Raspberry, are you here? Two 
runaway hair extensions. With attitudes. Those twins are never on time. Hello? Oh, hi, Strawberry. You're where? They what? <laughs> Are they wearing hats from my new puppy fashions? No one's supposed to see those until I release my spring line. <sighs> Did you have to make them so... so... moody? I didn't realize how much out-of-control emotion those twins had roaring around inside them. Must have blown their circuits. Oh, Yoo-hoo! Oh, cutie moodies! <laughs> That's right. It's me. Come to Mama. <laughs> we sure love their mama. <gasps> Get him! Over here! Watch out! There's one! Uh, 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 oh, no. Hey! Check it! Hair bait! The moose in the world could get those things to behave. Well, I'm not modeling with some wigged out wiglet on my head. Lemon, we'll do anything to help you with the show. Go ahead and make a fool of yourselves in front of all the Berry Bitty world, but you can count me out. Sour? Don't you think you're sounding just a little bit, um. Selfish? Yes. No. Raspberry, you better go ahead without me and just do the show with your skirt. I'm not doing the fashion show without you. We're a team, Lemon. Thanks, Raspberry. Huh. I really thought I had something with my original vision. What was that? A hair cam that displays on Raspberry's skirt. But I couldn't hide the cameras and cables well enough. Cool. You know, I bet you I could hide cameras in these barrettes. You could? And I think... I could make them wireless. No cables to mess with. You could? But now it really is last minute. I don't know if we can do it. I thought I could run the cafe. I failed. I thought I could make moody hair. Failure. Lemon, just do your best. I don't wear glasses. Yes, but it's important that the audience thinks you and Sweet are the same model. That's the problem. I don't want to be the same as her. <sighs> but Sour, you agreed. I didn't. You twisted my arm. Okay, guys, everything's ready with the Berry Web hookup. When this light goes red, the webcams will be live. And you're on. Every berry in the no fan in the berry bitty world will be streaming your fashion show. Thanks, Apple. Great job. Are you done with me yet? Mm -hmm. And yes. Uh uh uh. <sighs> Lemon, you're a genius. Sour, you look gorgeous. You're just saying that because now I look like you. Oh, Sour, I'm sorry, but please, can't you try and be a good sport? Hi, Sweet! Whoa, you look terrific! I am not Sweet! Uh, that is, I am not responsible. It's all due to Lemon's genius and yours, Apple. Look at all this. How does this work? This will show what's airing on Barry in the Know, and this shows what our webcams on stage are filming live. Whatever. I mean, amazing. You're so talented. And when the light turns and red... Never mind that. Uh, how is it all 
Uh, plugged in. Well, the Sparkleberry Juice power cables are connected uh -oh. to the... Oh, can you help me with this light stand? Sure. Excuse me. Power cable. Power cable. <laughs> That'll do, Apple. Thanks. Anytime. Ah, it's down. Why is it down? Uh, hmm. I must have crashed the system with those brat cams. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Apple, we're ready to go in ten. Yeah, no worries. Phew! Five minutes to airtime, everybody! Five minutes! Mavis Maraschino here. Hello, fans. Are you Barry in the know? Well, we're about to find out when we begin our first fashion show contest. Merciful Madras, the submission from Barry Betty City is broadcasting early. They weren't supposed to start for another few minutes, but, uh, ooh, it looks like something interesting is going on there. Oh, <laughs> the latex can wait. We take you live to Berry Bitty City. Lemon! Lemon, where are you? Five minutes! We've got to get the barrette cameras in the twins' hair! Uh, I can't find the models! What? They must be over there! Why did you say I twisted your arm? It's so clear now. This was all you're planning to get us to look exactly the same. Of all the underhanded... But you know this fashion show wasn't my idea. I don't know that. You actually believe we all plotted behind your back? Anything's possible. It's only for the show anyway. It's not like you have to look like me forever. Hello? We're twins? Crazy people! Three minutes to air time! Ah! Oh, 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 oh. Ah! What is it? They're loose! Who's loose? The, the... Strawberry, you identity saboteur! Helping Sweet eradicate any last bit of individuality I have! She... never... There you uh, are! Quick! We're live in two! More like in one! First in Boysenberries! Get those barrette cams in their hair! They go. Hey, your hair looks better than mine. I'm not setting a foot on that catwalk until I look as good. But your hair looks good too. Does not. Does too. Hey, Apple, is that light supposed to be on? What light? That red one. <gasps> not your fault, Apple. It's mine. What do you mean, Sour? I fooled around with Apple's computer stuff. I was trying to... Well, pull the plug on the whole show. And seeing the playback of how awful I treated my sister, I never knew how... how awful I was. You're leaving? You'll be better off without me. 
Sweet will stay and help you in the cafe. Don't count on it. Sweet? What are you... You didn't do anything wrong. You never do. You're my sister. I stick with you no matter what. Oh, sweet. I'm sorry. Everywhere we go, I wear out our welcome. You can't leave! I've been all over, and I promise, this place is the best. You'll see. This is the kind of place where you can wear out your welcome and still be welcome. Because you're loved. That's right. Please don't go. Really? You'll forgive me? Us. Us. We'll both try and get along better. <laughs> of course. <sighs> Here goes. Bouncy Myrtleberries! <laughs> I can't believe this! Mm, that bad, huh? No! No, listen! Congratulations to Berry Bitty City for winning Berry in the Nose Fashion Contest! What? <laughs> How inventive and avant-garde of you to enter a comedy fashion show. <laughs> Your admirer, Mavis Maraschino. We won? <laughs> so, Lemon, I forgot to ask. <laughs> what did you end up doing with those hair thingies? The Moody's? They disappeared. Thank goodness we've seen the last of them. Once upon a time, a long time ago, a princess named Coconut Cupcake was taking a stroll, and she came upon a troll. Ooh! The troll guarded a bridge, a troll who let no one pass without paying the toll. Princess Coconut Cupcake ordered the troll who takes the toll to lower the bridge so she might cross. But you must pay the toll, insisted the troll who takes the toll. Ha! Huh, says you, I am Princess Coconut Cupcake, and you must do as I say, said Princess Coconut Cupcake in an ever so high and mighty manner. That was not really good manners at all. <laughs> Heel? 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 Help! <laughs> oh, so much for heel. Heel refused to pay the toll to the troll. She said, I will find my own way. Uh, well, and what do you say? I thought it sounded like story time. I'm sorry to interrupt. It's actually a good place to stop. Uh, we're just at the end of the chapter. We'll find out what the little asparagus told the princess next time. Yay! Bye bye. Bye, kids. Wow, they really love that story. Every time I read it to them, it's like they're first. You know, Plum has been asking for ideas for a play to direct, and I'm wondering if she could do a berry fairy tale as a play. You know, put on a show for the kids. That's a great idea. I'll loan her my big book of Berry Can Berry Fairy Tales. Huh? This is great! What a super idea! You don't know how long I've been trying to decide which play to do. And how special to do something for the Berry Can Kids. It'll be like a cozy little story time on stage. Perfect! Thanks, girls! <laughs> 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 nice one, Plum! Thank you, Orange! <laughs> oh. Oh. Well, hello there, Plum! Huh? <gasps> oh, Cherry, I'm so sorry! Oh, no! I kind of squashed your very big Glitz and Glamour magazine! I'm really... Snowberry and the Seven Berrykins. Colossal Smash Stage Play at Berry Big City Theater. Oh, yeah. It's huge. Biggest thing to hit Berry Big Broadway in years. It's packing in the audiences. Snowberry and the Seven Berrykins? That's a big production. Wow. You know, I could do something sensational with that play. 
I would direct it. Bigger. Better! I could make it a bigger hit than it is in Berry Big City! I thought you were just putting something together for the Berry King kids. You know, a cozy little story time on stage? Huh? Oh, sure, sure. But this... This... This will be bigger and better. And when the final curtain falls, and the applause of the audience is ringing in the rafters, no one will say that Plum can't direct a smash hit. I don't think anyone's saying that. And they won't. I'll direct a play that will make Berry Bitty City the talk of the theater world. Mirror, mirror, at my command. Mirror, tell mirror, me who my is command. Ferris, tell me who is land. very fairest in all the land. I've been to a lot of auditions in my time, and I've never had to wait this long. How long have we been here? Oh, since before lunch. Hmm. Uh, <sighs> okay, that's it. I'm gonna find out what's going on. Why are you dressed like that? We thought we might have a better chance if we all dressed for the part. I'm guessing you're all trying out for Snowberry? Well, uh, yeah, of course. I mean, well, yes. And may the best gown, I mean, girl, win. <laughs> inspired, Barry Kinvani. Simply inspired. Now, you are a tree in a forest. What kind of tree? You know, am I a maple, an oak, spruce, birch fir, mulberry, hemlock, chestnut, pecan, silver fir, walnut, white fir, aspen, jeffrey pine, lodgepole pine, uh, lob lolly pine? Give me a moment. Okay, here it is. You are a redwood. So, as a redwood, how would you, from deep within your redwood heart, from the very depths of your redwood soul, sing this note? Nah! Hmm. A good start, but I'm not believing it yet. Plum? Oh, hi, Strawberry. Um, I believe there are others in line ahead of you. Plum? Yes? It's dark outside, and there are a lot of folks waiting. Do you think we might move the rest of the auditions to the morning? Oh. <laughs> Goodness. Time just flies when I'm in my zone. Uh, good idea, Strawberry. But I've got a big show to cast, so we better start early. People! People! All right, that's a wrap for tonight. Auditions continue first thing in the morning. How's this, huh? No! It should be somewhat sweeter. Sweeter? Oh, well, how did Plum say she wanted it for the play? Huh? There they are, our stars. Hey, congrats. Congratulations. Ah, uh, thank you. Thank very you. much. I'm so excited she picked me to play Snowberry. I can't believe I actually got the role, the part. But uh, I'm a little kind of uh, nervous. Well, Raspberry, you're gonna be fabulous. <laughs> I just know it. And I'm so excited to be the Berry Mean Queen, but I'm a little nervous too. I just hope I can do it the way Plum wants it. It is I, the Berry Mean Queen. <laughs> well, it's just supposed to be a fun show for the Berrykin kids. They'll love it no matter what. I don't know. Plum's putting a lot of pressure on us. The Berry Mean Queen is who I am. It is I who am the Berry Mean Queen. That's me, Berry Mean Queen. I guess Plum really does want this show to be as grand as Berry Big City Theater's production. But how will she do that? We're Berry Bitty City. All we have is a bitty stage. Big! Think big! Curtain goes up in one week, people! No one should be reading their lines off their scripts anymore! Oh. Hello, Snowberry. We're the Seven Berrykins. Plum! Huh? Your design crew is here. At last! You seven, take five and memorize those lines! So, let's talk about the big tidal wave effect in Act Two. Uh, 
I don't remember a tidal wave in Snowberry and the Seven Barricans. I don't think Berry Big City Theater had a tidal wave. Exactly! But we will. That's why our Snowberry play will be bigger and better than Berry Big City's production. Uh, I'm just wondering, why does our play have to be better... And bigger! Uh, that too. Than very big cities. Do you want us to be the laughing stock of the theater world? A and I'm the director, so I'll be the laughingest of the stock. I could see the headlines now. Very bitty city makes very big boo boo. People pull plug on plum. <laughs> Work with me, please. I said the Seven Berry Kids need to fly stage right to stage left, not left to right. Those launch platforms need to be built on the other side. Flying Berry Kids? I guess another thing only our Snowberry play will have. <gasps> Listen, I'm all for dreaming big, but I'm worried Plum is dreaming too big this time. Kind of going a little overboard. Somewhere she'll never find her way back from. Here comes Lemon now. Speaking of going overboard. <laughs> very overboard. <laughs> I order you, Royal Huntsman, to leave Snowberry. Hi. Come try some coconut swirl I just made. What would the Queen of the Kingdom want with that? Fetch me a short stack and make it snappy, or to the dungeon you'll go. Why don't you join us, Lemon? Aw, guys, don't call me Lemon. I gotta stay in character. Join you indeed. What do you take me for? I only dine with royalty, and in the whole kingdom, tis no one as royal than I, which means I dine alone. Lonely at the top, huh? Forsooth, yay, and verily. Wrap those pancakes up, kind peasant. To go, I'll take them, I will. Can you not see that I, the very mean queen, am in a hurry? I'm expected at a rehearsal forthwith, or the director shall have my crown. Thank you, kind peasant. Make way. Overboard is right. Do you think she'll turn back into Lemon after the play? Or will we be stuck with Berry Mean Queen forever? <laughs> <laughs> okay, try it again. Again? We're doing it till we get it right. Mirror, mirror, at my command, tell me who is Berry Fairest in all the land? Uh, is it Princess Berrykin? Berrykin Bloom? Oh, wait, uh, don't tell me. Uh, is it J.D. Bug at the post office? No, Berry Kim Bloom. We're not in Berry Bitty City right now. We're in the play Snowberry and the Seven Berry Kins. And all you have to do is say your lines. Do you remember your lines? Uh, oh, uh, yes, yes. Uh, the script. Um. <sighs> Give him the next line, Berry Mean Queen. Snowberry? <gasps> That's impossible! Is it? The mirror never... Oh, yes, Miss Plum, I remember now. The mirror never sighs. <sighs> lies. The mirror never lies. Oh, that's it. The mirror never lies. Yes, you got it. <sighs> Let's do it again from the top. Mirror, mirror at my command. Tell me who is Barry Fairest in all the land. Snowberry. Snowberry? <gasps> That's impossible! The mirror never cries. Oh. Oh, dearie me! Goodness gracious! I am lost in the woods. The terrible, wearable woods. Alone and frightened. It is a dark night. I am so very, very scared of the fearsome animals and wild creatures. Come on, girl. You can do it. It's your big scene. <laughs> huh? Oh, fearsome creatures. Oh, wild animals. Are you there? Somewhere? Oh, well, I can't see you any wild 
animals at the moment, but I sure know they're here because I can just feel they are near. I can kind of, you know, sense them. Oh, I must hide from the wild animals. Gasp! Why, here is one now! Hmm. <laughs> oh, no! An opossum? I mean, a wolf? I mean, what are you supposed to Cut. be? Cut! Raspberry, it's a ferocious tiger! Oh, right. Well, I forgot. Without the tiger costume, I guess, you know, I couldn't tell. And the line before that, that's not in the script. Well, it just didn't feel real to my character to say there were wild animals when there wasn't. Uh, I couldn't see them. I understand. Ta-da! Huh? <laughs> we finished painting the cottage backdrop, you wanted, Plum? Great. Let's see it. What am I looking at? The, the Seven, Seven Barricans Cottage. Well, it looks like two different buildings stuck together. Well, I was thinking they would live in this kind of house. And I really feel this is the sort of home that I, I, I mean, <laughs> they would prefer. So we, uh, split, split the, the difference. difference. Oh. Plum, may I please speak with you about my lines in the scene with the Berry Mean Queen? I don't think they are genuine or, you know, organic or, I mean, really true to my character. <gasps> huh? <laughs> this is not how a cast behaves! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Plums, <laughs> Puppy Soria. <sighs> oh. uh, Plum, I'm a... Uh... <clears throat> I'm not sure it's a good idea to sit right there. Ah, uh, yes. So pleased to make your acquaintance. I am the very mean queen. Very fairest in all the land. What? What's that you say? I am not the very fairest in all the land? Who? Whom do you speak of? Snowberry? <gasps> Curses! Who goes there? Who dares? Uh, it's Strawberry and Cherry. We were wondering if you're coming to book club. <laughs> Aren't you excited, Plum? It's your dress rehearsal. No, I'm nervous. Raspberry didn't have time to sew all the costumes because she was too busy learning her lines. The tidal wave isn't big enough. The puppies don't look scary enough. Hmm? Oh, Bitterberries. They're ready. Here we go. Once upon a time, there was a queen with a magic mirror. Mirror, mirror, at my command. Tell me who is Barry Fairest in all the land. Great effects, Plum. My queen, you are the berry... Um, uh, oh. I am the berry fairest in all the land. Ah, the mirror never lies. And all was well for the queen. Until one day... Mirror, mirror, at my command. Tell me, who is berry fairest in all the land? Well, the gist of it is, there's this new kid named Snowberry who is looking pretty fair these days. What? Well, uh, did you really expect to be very fairest of the land forever? So, are you saying the Snowberry is fairer than I? Um, yes. That's impossible! Uh, the mirror never... Lies. <sighs> oh, uh, mm, uh, the very.
very idea. Show me this, Snowberry. Well, okay, if you insist. Ugh! Remove her, please. No, I mean, I need her removed from the planet. Well, I'm just a mirror. Don't you need something like some uh, evil huntsman or, or something for a job like that? <sighs> huntsman and poison apples couldn't do the job, so I'll have to do it myself. Oh, my! Oh, dear! I am done for! No, you're not, Snowberry! together, it just got a little bit big and a little less fun. It got a lot big and a no fun. A little play for the baby berrykins was a fun idea, but I kind of went overboard. <laughs> I bet everyone is mad at me. Oh, they aren't mad at you. They're all on stage, waiting for their next directions. Really? Maybe you could do a different play, something on a smaller scale so you could have fun directing it? You think they'd give me a second chance? Everyone loves you, Plum. Of course. <laughs> Everyone, I have an announcement. If you're willing to help me with another play, I promise we'll do something simple and fun. Something the Little Berry Kings will love. <laughs> story that sounds like fun. And when can we start? How about tomorrow morning? But I must admit, I'm not sure what a berry fest princess does. You've got to judge the flower show. Oh, Don't forget the honey days. Oh, I have to judge a flower show? I'll be sure not to forget the honey. Got it. You got the girl. Yeah, it'll be great. Uh -huh. ooh, ooh. And twirl the berry fest princess baton. Really? I have to twirl the berry fest princess baton? I'd better practice. Climb the buffet. Right, the buffet. Sample the cobbler. Cobbler? And ask the blitz. Uh, Blurkles! Get all the wings! Spaghetti! Oh, the buffet! Before, after... I'm sorry, but I still don't know what my duties are. It's quite simple, actually. Princess Berry King's bitty book of Berry Fest Princess Duty says, the princess shall preside over the festivities of Berry Fest. Especially the parade must be the very best. What does that mean, exactly? It means you're responsible for getting everything ready. See you bye -bye. Bye -bye. Uh, wait, please. This is a great honor, but I'm not sure I know how to put on a parade. Oh, of course. How silly of me. Here's the things to do list. Thank you. This doesn't look so bad. <gasps> oh, galloping grape leaves. This is a lot to do, Custard. Oh, how am I going to get it all done? Hmm, what would a leader do? I know. She would give tasks to the members of her team. But who's my team? 
<laughs> My friends, of course. And you know, Custer, they've already said they want to help me. Now, all I have to do is assign some of these tasks. Hello, Blueberry. Hi, Lemon. Oh, Plum, my friend. Would you be able to help me with the parade, please, Orange? Raspberry, could you please help me with something? We'd love to! Oh, I knew they'd help me. See you later, Custard. <laughs> I'm on my way to plan the buffet, but I thought I'd stop by to see how the garland is. <gasps> huh? What are you doing? I'm sorting these nut pieces for the squirrels. The real nuts got mixed in with the metal nuts. I want everything in my store organized so I can focus on making the garland like you asked. Maybe sorting nuts should wait till after the parade. I'd be happy to help you then. When the box said mixed nuts, <laughs> they weren't kidding. And just when I have so much work on my hands. You know, that garland is very important to the parade. <gasps> oh no, look at the time. Uh, I'm late to pick up the petals from my garlands. Um, Strawberry, could you watch my store for just a few minutes? Uh, sure, Orange. Go ahead. Oh, and if you're bored, feel free to sort the nuts. Orange? Oh, she just ran off on an errand. Say, am I glad to see you, Plum. Have you finished the berry can dance for after the parade? Not yet, but I've decided that Orange and I should perform the berry bitty bunny hop during the parade. But the berry kins have to... Since Orange isn't here, I need you to try out some steps with me. <laughs> I'd love to help Plum, <laughs> but I'm actually in the middle of a sorting project for Orange. Oh, that's okay. You can keep sorting while you hop. Come on, Strawberry! <laughs> now left, right, left, two, three, four. What's going on? 
Well, I know you're already helping me on the float, but would you also be able to make me a gown, please? <laughs> Don't be silly. Of course. I'll design it as soon as I finish these wonderful wings for the butterfly float. <sighs> At last, someone is helping me. Thank you. Hi, Strawberry. Hi, Raspberry. Oh, <laughs> hi, Lemon. Say, Lemon, could I please hear the music you picked for the parade? That's what I came to talk to you about. Wow, is that the butterfly wing I'll be standing next to? Sure is. You want to hold it? Of course. Um... <laughs> See? A perfect match. <laughs> that looks great, girls. But could we please focus on our parade tasks? Say, do you know what would really make this wing spectacular? Rhinestones! I've got a rhinestone fastener at home. I'll just add some sparkles to this, and it'll be much more springtime paradier. Oh, but wait, the wings are supposed to look exactly the same. I'm sorry Lemon decided to change your design. Oh, no, no, no. She's so right. They should be sparklier. Hey, you know, I'm gonna add a little bit of glitter glue to my wing, too. <laughs> or maybe a lot. Yes, sparkles would be nice. But don't we have more important things to do right now, Raspberry? Like for the parade? <laughs> oh, no, but making the wings more sparkly is helping the parade. <laughs> right. Then maybe you and Lemon could decorate the wings together. You know, help each other. Speed things up. <laughs> well, since you're here, you could help me. <laughs> you know, speed things up. I apologize, Raspberry, but I just can't right now. I have a dozen unfinished things to do. Thanks for all your hard work on the float. Gotta go! Bye! <sighs> I've tried to be a good leader, Custard, but things haven't gone well. I assigned tasks to my friends and then followed up with them and motivated them, but somehow nothing got finished, Custard. Uh, Custard? <laughs> That's exactly right. You got distracted by something, and so did my friends. It's easy to do. I just wish they could be more helpful to each other. It seems like everybody is so stressed. And I don't know how I'm supposed to do each and everything on this list, right down to the last task. Huh? What's this, Custer? Oh, did you find something? Oh. It's the very last task. Oh no, not another one. It says, I wrote this so fast, I put this task last, but it's rule number one, make the parade fun. <laughs> Everyone knows that. No, wait, that's what I'm doing wrong. I've assigned so many tasks that no one is having fun. Hmm, maybe I'm expecting too much of everyone. From now on, I'll just have to work harder. We like what we do and do what we like. Don't we have a very nice life? Grab some fruit, have some fun, wait till the work is done. It's time to celebrate, laugh and sing. There's magic in the air. We are the very kids. Decorate carriage. Check. Plan menu. Hmm, check. Baton twirling. Mm. Yep. Mm. Working on it. <laughs> Strawberry. Huh? I know it's getting late, but this is all the garland I've gotten done so far. Oh, that's fine, Orange. Don't worry. Leave this here and I'll take care of the rest. Thank you very much. Oh, and Orange, keep smiling. Uh, okay. <sighs> Look, Strawberry, I've changed the parade route again. I like this one much better. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, just one second, Blueberry. Uh... <gasps> Wait, these posts are in the wrong place. That's the old route. This is the new route. If I'd gotten your map sooner, Blueberry, we could have changed things. 
But no time now. We'll have to go with your own. But I did this one in ink. Oh, don't be upset. I'll try and move the posts. I want you to be happy. Hey, Blueberry, check out my bunny hop. I made it way better. That's the fifth time you've made it better, Plum. Hey, Strawberry, which huh? of our wings looks prettier? <laughs> Girls, this is a parade, not a competition. It's supposed to be fun. <laughs> they both look fine. See, she likes mine best. Uh-uh, not in a billion trillion years. I had to make more garland because Blueberry tells me the parade route is now longer. <laughs> what are we supposed to decorate with that? A shoebox? At least I'm doing something useful. Um, can somebody help me, please? Dancing is useful. Not when it's too hard to do. I can't possibly learn your new double hoppity in time. It isn't my fault that Lemon took so long choosing the music. Hey, you're hopping on my back! Huh? Whoa. Ow! Would you mind keeping that thing out of my face? Yours is a monstrosity. My map is ruined! Hopping is silly! You're lucky all you have to do is garland. Oh, no. This is no fun. So, yeah! Somebody? I gave them so much work, they've forgotten how to be nice to one another. Well, at least one of them has come back to help me. Strawberry, I'm not good with the needle and thread, and this needs some beef. I'll be back in ten minutes to pick it up. Gotta go. So behind on the music. <gasps> Galloping gooseberries! <gasps> No princess. She can't be found. <laughs> Have you seen Strawberry? No, but I found her baton in the cafe. She's not in any of the shops. And we've looked everywhere. What if she quit? Why would anyone give up being the very best princess? Well, she did mention having a lot of tasks. Well, I did my task. <sighs> uh, sorta. Yeah, I kind of let her down too, I guess. She asked me to do just one little thing, and I just kept asking her to help me. And I didn't even say please. Girls, I think we all got so wrapped up in our little projects and what we needed that we didn't even pay attention to what Strawberry needed. <laughs> no wonder she took off. If I was her, I'd quit too. I was so selfish. She kept asking us to help each other, and instead we were just rude to each other. I was mean. And she only asked us to do one little thing. And I messed it up with my rhinestones. No, no. It was all me with my silly glitter. Trying to have the best wing. Why didn't we just help each other out like she asked? It's <laughs> Here, please take my hanky. Thank you. We're all to blame. And after Strawberry worked so hard. What a great leader. Never complained. Always polite. Heart of gold. And she cared so much about us having fun. And now she's left. <laughs> can someone help me down? I can still hear her pleading voice in my memory. <gasps> Please? Wait! That voice is real! <gasps> Look! A bear! <gasps> hey! Over here! Whoa. We 
have just got to save her. Come on, everyone. Grab that garland, please. Oh, uh, I'll take this wing. Follow me. I'll pick a route through the daisy. you all march here to my rescue. <laughs> I wish you could have seen it. Marching and singing and <laughs> carrying garlands. It looked like a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Once we worked together and were nice to each other. Girls, I was worried for a minute we wouldn't have a parade. But you just gave me the best parade ever. We did? We did! <laughs> be clear about this. Strawberry, it was you who made this parade happen. You never gave up, even when no one was helpful. And we all thank you from the very bottom of our hearts. No, you're making me feel like a real princess. for many days, but finally, it seemed as if the very long winter was coming to an end. For all the wonderful things Strawberry Shortcake had done to help her neighbors, she had been elected queen of the spring regatta. What's a regatta, Blue Belly? It's a sailboat race. Ooh! The weather turned warm. It seemed like spring was in the air. Raspberry was planning a big fashion show to display her spring line. Okay, so the models will walk around the fabulous fountain. Oh, the fountain, the symbol for spring showers, watering cans, watering spring uh, flowers. 
hours of snow melting to waterfalls, rivers, raindrops. I think we get the idea. Raspberry, I think it's a wonderful idea. Something a little different than a catwalk. <laughs> I'm so very excited. It's going to be spectacular. 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 I tell you, no one in Berry Bitty City will have seen a water show like it. It will be a great success, Barrack and Bruce. I've been planning for weeks, but only Strawberry knows about it. It's gonna be a surprise as a celebration of spring. I say, hand me that wubsalator, would you? Uh, here you are there, Ed old pal. Uh-huh. Is that a wubsalator? Uh, hope so? Now you know that it is not so. That, over there. Now, to your left. Oh, never mind. I'll get it myself. You know, Ed, I'm kind of wishing it was still winter. You know, well, it still could be. This has been a wacky season. Back and forth, coming and going. Oh. I miss skating around on those skaty doohickeys Blueberry made us uh, for traveling on the icy roads. Icy skites, Earl. She calls them icy skites. Oh, why, uh, yes, I, I suppose that is true. Well, the roads aren't frosted anymore. So, so, Ed, let's say we glue some ice cubes on our icy skite blades and we could put these doohickeys to use all through the summer. The what goes? Ice cubes, all summer glue. Do you have any idea? I know. Don't say it. Another one of my ideas that doesn't make very much sense. You need this? No, I don't need that. I... <gasps> the boss. Barrick and Ed, Barrick and Earl, I have a surprise. You do? But it's for later. What is it? Uh-uh. Now, if I told you, it wouldn't be a surprise, would it? Oh, yeah. I suppose that's true. Oh, it's lovely, Raspberry. Wait, wait. Oh, yes. Ooh, the crown. I know it's not the real Regatta Queen's crown. You'll have to be officially crowned by Princess Berrykin. But I wanted you to get the whole, you know, the whole idea. I really feel like a queen. Mail delivery, Miss Raspberry Tort. Oh, goodness. Is that your regatta queen costume? <laughs> it is indeed. Didn't Raspberry do a wonderful job? You both do very bitty city justice. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Would you like your mail now as well, Miss Shortcake? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Milk, got a buzz. <laughs> Have a very nice day. Oh, wow. It's the invitation to your spring fashion show at the fountain. Thank you, Raspberry. Oh, it's beautiful. Uh oh. What a oh. I'm sorry, Raspberry, but Barry and Bruce planned the big water show weeks ago and wanted to keep it a surprise. Otherwise, you would have known that he wanted the same date as you. Well, I could move my date and resend the invitations, I guess. Let's see if we can work this out. Well, hi, Strawberry. Hi, Raspberry. Hello, Hello Berry and Bruce. Bruce. I wonder if you could help us, Berry and Bruce. Raspberry sent out invitations to a fashion show she has planned around the fountain. A fashion show? How very wonderful. <sighs> My new spring line. Um, and it's for the same day that you wanted to do your water show. Shh! It's a surprise. I know. She only told me because, well, I was wondering, since no one knows about it yet, could you maybe be flexible with your date? Maybe you could put your show off one day, or have it the day before, or two days before, or two days after, or... Am I invited? Well, sure. <laughs> of course you're invited. Well, I don't see why I couldn't have the water show the day after. 
Oh, oh thank you, Barricon Bruce. You saved my spring fashion show. Oh, well, it's nothing. Uh, I'm glad to help. Uh, can you fellas hold down the fort? I gotta go, uh, do something real important. I'll be back in a couple hours. Sounds great, boss. Yep, uh, see you later. Do you suppose it's a surprise thingamajig that he's working on? I don't suppose, because I'm not supposed to suppose. It's a surprise, Earl. That's what the boss wants. That's what he'll have. Shall we try it with the music now? Oh, hi, Barry King Bruce. Hi, Barry King Bruce. Uh, Miss Tord, may I have a word? Of course. He seems undone, beside himself. Wonder what he's upset about. But this is the best time for me to work out my fountain show while all the Barricans are down at the Berry Works. I don't want them to see the surprise. I understand, but right now is when the light's just right for my rehearsal. And the girls were able to take some time off during lunch. Go, oh, what'll I do? What'll I do? What if you rehearsed your water show at night? Please, not so loud. I don't want anyone else to find out about the surprise. What surprise? We hear someone say, surprise? Yeah. I'm doing a spring water show extravaganza. Ooh! Don't worry. We won't breathe a word. A spring water show extravaganza? Wow, that's neat. Yeah. You forgot your lunch, boss. Wowzers. I see you got super bitty aqua berry kin blast on your lunchbox. Maybe you'd like to switch with me sometime. I got super bitty fern tendril free to power fly on mine. Oh, maybe that's not such a good idea. Oh well, back to work. Oh, don't worry. I won't tell anyone about the surprise. Oh. You know, Berrykin Bruce, Strawberry has a calendar in her cafe with all the community events. Why don't we organize a rehearsal schedule? That's a very good idea. There we go. Problem solved. Now the fashion show and the water show both have their own rehearsal times. <laughs> Sorry I'm late for rehearsal. Wait, stop! Slow down! Whoa! I liked it all the way up to that last move. Barry Ken Bruce must have been rehearsing his water show here last night. The whole place is soaking wet. Oh, should we rehearse somewhere else? We could, but today we need to hang the decorations. Oh, I hope they don't get soggy. <sighs> Barry Ken Bruce is going to get the whole area soaking wet all the time. I, I, I don't know if this whole sharing the fountain thing is working for me. Looking good, oh. Mm hmm. Say, it's closing time. Where's the boss? You're right. I haven't seen him for hours. Maybe he's working on the surprise. Which I guess isn't so much of a surprise to you anymore, is it? Aw, oh, Ed, you know I can't tell. But since I know what the surprise is, maybe I should go check and see if he needs any help with it. You do that. Aw, oh, Ed. <laughs> ah! Oh, help me down, Earl. I'm all tangled up in these silly decorations. I think they are quite... Cheerful. Oh, just will you please help me down? Oh, oh, oh yes, uh, uh, yes, of course. Uh, 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 Aha! <laughs> Thank you. How am I supposed to practice my water show here with all these paper decorations? Uh, maybe we could put umbrellas over them. Let's uh, see, you put the umbrellas up and, and the water doesn't. 
Um, get on the decorations. <laughs> I think I better go talk to Strawberry. I don't think this sharing the fountain thing is working for me. Um, Earl, thank you. I think I can handle this myself. Uh, okay, boss. We'll see you later. Ugh. Umbrellas. <sighs> Strawberry, we've tried. <clears throat> we really have. Hmm, you know, I've been thinking, and maybe this is an idea that doesn't make very much sense, but I'm gonna tell you anyway, because sometimes the ideas that don't seem like they make very much sense end up making more sense than you think. Tell, Tell us. us! What if you combine the fountain show and the fashion show and work together? You mean model my spring line while the water show is going on? <laughs> mm -hmm. But my fashions would get soaked. Wait a minute. Barrick and Earl had an idea. Well, he mentioned something about umbrellas. What if your models modeled with umbrellas? That sounds kind of... <laughs> what a very unique idea. Oh, the whole spring showers thing I was going for, which is why, well, it's because, I mean, that's why I wanted to do the fashion show around the fountain in the first place. Let's do it. <laughs> Great, problem solved. Celebration. Wow, Lemon, you're almost done. These are the most beautiful sails I have ever seen. This will be the very best spring regatta ever. With the very best queen. Evening, boss. Ah, uh, evening, Ed. Earl. The Super Booster Juice Flow Pumperator is ready to go. This will really boost production at the Berry Works. That's very good news. Uh, anything wrong, boss? Well, I gotta tell you, the, the girls' spring fashion show is spectacular, and I was sort of hoping my water show would be spectacular, too. But with the fashion show in front, I'm worried no one will even notice it. That's uh, rough, gee. boss. I wish there were just some way to make it bigger, more spectacular. Any ideas, guys? You, um, want to boost the power of the water jets? Well, yeah, that would work. What if we hooked up the Super Booster Juice Flow Pumper to the fountain controls? That's a great idea, Ed. Uh, let's roll her over there. Uh, what is it, Earl? Oh, um, nothing. You want to come along? No, no, I'll just get in the way. This'll be great. A water show that no one will ever forget. Rev her up, Ed. Wow! Wow is right. Boy, oh boy, everyone's gonna be surprised. Ooh, they're getting kind of cold, boss. Yeah, well, let's call it a night. If I didn't know different, you might think winter's coming back. Pop 
just came from the lake. It's frozen solid. <gasps> huh? Huh? I thought it was spring. I mean, it was. But I guess it wasn't because winter is definitely back. All those beautiful sails Lemon painted for the spring regatta. Oh, Strawberry, I wish there was a way you could still be queen. Not on a frozen lake. We can icy skate on the frozen lake. I already put my icy skates away. Oh wow! Oh, we could, oh, we could just. What was that? Well, I was thinking of blueberries, icy skates, and uh, oh, nothing. Nothing. Uh -huh. I know that look. You were getting another of your ideas. You mean one of my ideas that doesn't make very much sense? Listen to me, Earl, old buddy. Don't listen to me. I mean, don't listen to all those times I said your ideas were silly. Just forget them. I'm sorry I said them. Your ideas are very good. And should be said. If you have an idea, Barry Ken Earl, we'd love to hear it. Really? Yeah. Like you said, Strawberry, sometimes the ideas that don't seem like they make very much sense end up being the best. Like, like, Earl, didn't you have the umbrella idea that saved the show? Uh, when there was a show? Well, my idea is, um, on the lake, I mean, on the ice, we could do it all. A uh, kind of, I don't know, a winter ice skating fashion show thingy? Hey! An ice show! A fashion show on ice! What's this mountain in the middle? Whipped cream. Uh, I mean, the frozen fountain. I, I thought maybe uh, put it out there, right on the ice. Uh, kind of like a, a... A centerpiece. An ice sculpture right in the middle of the... <gasps> It'd be beautiful! We'll just slide it over, sculpt it a bit. It'll be spectacular. Hey, yeah! Great idea! Ooh, I could turn my fabulous spring fashions into... into ice fashions. I can donate all the winter fashions you helped me make for my Icy Skites commercial. Wow! It'll totally work! Fantastic. Oh, this is gonna be great! But the regatta... Hmm, the boats... Yeah, there's no way to sail our boats on the ice. No, there's a way. If we borrow some of your icy skites... Oh, like how Barry King Bruce and I cleverly combined our shows, we could also combine the regatta! I could write this song all by myself Sing it solo with no one else But that would be lonely, it's true Everything is better with you I could be alone all day By myself in the cafe It doesn't matter what I do Everything is better with you No one knew how long it would stay. But this time, it didn't matter. Everyone had found that wintertime or springtime, they could always find a way to have fun together. That in Berry Bitty City, every season had its own very big possibilities.
still lots of time before the cafe opens. Hmm, guess it's a good morning to clean out the fridge. Oh, that's right. I cleaned it yesterday. <laughs> hmm, clean the oven. Oh, forgot. <laughs> cleaned it the day before. Looks like I'm all out of things to do. Hey, Pupcake. Think we should go strawberry shopping? <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> Pupcake! <laughs> hey, come back! Pupcake, come back here! Good morning, Strawberry! Good morning, Plum! Strawberry. Morning, Blueberry. Good morning, Strawberry. Hi, Raspberry. Hi, Strawberry. Morning, Lemon. Mmm, what's that fragrance? Mm, my new lemon hair scent. Like it? Oh, delicious. Great! I have a new strawberry scented shampoo that'd be perfect for you. Stop by later, I'll give you some. Where are you off to? Soon as I can catch Pupcake to Berry Glen for some strawberries. Need anything while I'm there? Oh, uh, yes. Pick me a few sunflower seeds. You got it. Pupcake! <laughs> there you are. Now please don't budge. I gotta get some sunflower seeds for orange. Strawberry Shortcake, you are out early today. What is all this? My latest, greatest invention. A plant food that grows berry betty fruits and vegetables. No more rolling apples all the way into town. Now they're just the right size for us. Mmm, very delicious too. <laughs> well, thank you. But there's only one problem. <sighs> My berry bitty harvest is uh, a bit more bountiful than I expected. Uh, whew, thank you. We've got to get these to Orange's general store before they spoil. Wait till she sees these. She'll be so excited. 
I'll help you, Barry can Bloom. Thimbles, check. Thread, check. Berries and bobbins, buttons and bows. Check and check, check and check. Can I get you anything else? No, thank you, Orange. This is all I need. Alrighty then. And thank you for shopping at Orange's General Store. Where there's a place for everything and a thing for every place. Morning, Orange. Good morning, Barry Kinville. And what can I get for you today? I'll need three bolts, six nails, 12 pails, a bag of rags, a box of socks, and half a dozen wooden blocks. Got it. Oh, what kind of wood? Well, I hadn't really thought much about... I have pine, cherry, oak, mahogany, peach, apple, elm, ash, beech, hickory, ebony, cedar, poplar, maple, spruce, sycamore, teak, rosewood, rubberwood, cottonwood, walnut, and willow. Um... I'm having a special this week on willow. I'll take willow. Good choice. And will there be anything else? Got any sunflower seeds? Ooh, all out. But a fresh shipment is coming in today. Oh, Orange, I got your sunflower seeds. See? If we don't have it, we'll get it at Orange's General Store. The place where there's a place for everything and a thing for, um, every some place? <laughs> Morning, Orange. Might you have room in your store for some delicious, nutritious, berry bitty fruits and vegetables fresh from my berry own bitty garden? Wow. Um, yeah, uh, sure. Of course. Bring it on. You know, this is a lot of stuff. Can I give you some help making room for it? Oh, no, 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 no. Thank you. I can make room on my own. Well, okay, but if you need any help rearranging... Don't be silly, Strawberry. Organization is my specialty. Okay, bring it in! <laughs> now, Custard! <laughs> This is not a toy. <laughs> wow! Do you think the store with a thing for every place has too many things and not enough places? Looks like Orange could use our help. Every time I ask, she says she's got it under control. Psst! Do you want to see what under control looks like? Really? What should I do? I mean, should I say something? You know how she takes so much pride in being organized. I know, but I think we have to. Um, Orange? <coughs> yes, strawberry? Your, um, uh, peaches and carrots? Peaches next to peas, just the other side plums. Carrots right before cucumbers. Yes, they're... If you get to come plots, you've gone too far. What I mean is, I mean, the problem is... Problem? There, there, there's a problem? Oh, just, um, a bitty one. Oh, good. How bitty? Well, the peaches and carrots are sort of, um, wilting in the sun. Oh, the sun? I'm on it, I got it. It's under control. No worries. Great, just great. One more goof out like this and the whole town will think I don't know how to run my store. Oh, um, everything okay? Well, sure, 
Sun solved. Orange, are you sure there isn't anything we can do to help you? Thanks, Strawberry. But I've got the whole thing under control. Whoa! Uh, so <laughs> refreshing. <laughs> Okay, well, we're going to the cafe for breakfast. <laughs> Gotta run! I'll keep some waffles warm for you in case you get a break. Okay, who's next? Nope, he's been quiet here too. Not a customer all day. How about you? Nobody since you guys were here. The whole town's at Orange's store. I've had so much spare time, I reorganized all my potholders, alphabetized my spices, and now I'm sketching some designs for a bedroom makeover. Orange has got to be swamped. Too bad she won't let us help her. I know. I think she's sensitive about accepting help. She feels it's like admitting she failed. Did she ever come by for breakfast? Nope. I finally had to give away the stack of waffles I'd saved for her. <laughs> At least they didn't go to waste. <laughs> Poor Orange, she's got to be hungry. It's almost lunchtime. I'm bringing her a sandwich. Least I can do. See you, Lemon. Okay, later. Galloping gooseberries. Radishes and rutabagas. Who wanted the radishes and rutabagas? You know what? Tomatoes, potatoes, turnips, and peas. Who asked for tomatoes, potatoes, turnips, and peas? Excuse me. Um, pardon me. I beg your pardon. Oh, excuse me. Wow, is business ever booming? I brought you a sandwich. Thanks, but I can't take a lunch break just now. Papayas and peaches! Who ordered the papayas and Right here, right here, right here! Just a bit busy. Wow, you really worked out a great system here. <laughs> Hi! Those are for produce only. creative experience, nothing beats painting in a watercoloring book. <laughs> Extraordinary talent! You may want to enroll him in an advanced painting class. Would you like 
like me too. Oh no, no problem. I, I can handle it. Quick, wrangle those radishes. Catch, Blueberry. Thanks. Great, more crates. Why are we whispering? Because if Orange finds out we're helping, she'll get upset. Oh, that's just silly. Helping each other is what friends are for. And I have plenty of spare time today. Look how pretty all the vegetables look in these crates. Well, she's got it into her head that the mess came from her store. And if she doesn't clean it herself, Mom thinks she isn't good at running her store. It's not her fault. There isn't enough room for all this stuff in her store. Yeah, what you'd need is a whole other store. Hmm. I smell something. Uh, mangoes? No, an idea. Huh. Hi, Orange. Be right with you. Almost done here. Everything under control. Good, because I desperately need your help with something. What is it, Strawberry? What do you need? Um, it's kind of personal. Do you have five minutes for a cup of tea at the cafe? Um, well, sure, I guess. Um, I'll just close up for a few minutes. Great. Don't worry, I'll have you back in a flash. There. Back in a flash. So, I was saying, I need to ask you a favor. Anything. Well, I have this dream of... Custard? No! I said, that's not a toy! This... this dream of opening a side business. Yeah? Oh, how fun! Well, what kind of business? Well, that's the trouble. I have nothing to sell. Hmm. So that's where you come in. I was hoping you wouldn't mind if I sold Berrykin Bloom's next Berry Bitty Harvest in a... sort of a... Um, produce marketplace. But only if you'd be willing to part with it. A marketplace? What a great idea! <laughs> Wait a minute. Are you doing this for me? Well, I'm, I'm doing it mostly because it would be fun for me. And fun for me, too! Not to have to run my store and sell all those fruits and veggies. I don't know why I didn't let you help me before. I'm so wiped out. Do you think the girls would mind helping me get my store cleaned up? Done! Oh, you are all so sweet! Thank you. You always help us, Orange. Why wouldn't we help you? Well, we all need to help Strawberry, because she's opening up a new marketplace! We're on it! Great, everyone. I think that's enough for one day. I can take it from here. Thank you so much for helping me get started. You're welcome. Sure, no problem. Problem. Strawberry. Goodbye. See you tomorrow, Strawberry. Emergency! What is it, Berry Can Bloom? It's my new plant food that shrinks the fruits and veggies to our size. It also shrinks the time from seed to harvest. I've got a new crop coming in only two weeks. Oh, no! This marketplace has to be built in half the time! Girls, come back! 